Hey guys, what's up? It's Brick Bomb here. Today I'll be reviewing set six zero one one zero, the fire Lego fire station from two thousand eighteen, I believe. Uh, I don't exactly know which year this came out, but if you do know which set, which year this set came out, please leave. Uh, and please leave a comment down below and let me know. So, um, let's begin with the fire station. So I'll move the minifigures out of the way and the vehicles out of the way. The in front of the fire station is very... The fire station has a corner-like to it so it's a corner building they have it the front of the fire station has a rotating door it also has two garages a smaller garage and a much larger garage we have the fire pole which actually works. We've got some, we've got some satellite dishes on the top and an AC or air conditioner, air vent, whatever you like to think it is, an antenna and the fire sign. So now let's take a look at the interior. Before that, there's also a helicopter pad on the back of the second garage. On floor one, we have the inside. We have a small coffee maker and a seat. On the second level is the boss's office. So he's got computer screens, uh, a telephone, uh, some radars, a coffee mug, and he's got a big screen on the side to give readings and information to the firefighters on where the fire is. And the third floor is a break area, so we've got a bunk bed, and that's about it. On the first garage, we've got some tools. It's a tool rack. And we've also got a giant satellite dish. The assembly, there can be many different assemblies, assembled ways you can play with this because there, these corner pieces right here can be detached, so there we go. You can detach this, detach that, and just mix around the different compartments. So if I took this out and just place this in, it could be a straight wall. And just go with your imagination on how you like to build it but the standard way or the way it shows you to build in the instructions is this corner piece is give me a second oh god pieces are falling off the way it shows you in the instructions is to build it like this. Now let's move on to the vehicles. So I'll start with vehicle number one. This is the captain's car. So we've got opening doors on either side. Here's the front. Here's the back. And inside he can carry an oxygen tank has a steering wheel and this car fits in 
the number one garage. Now for vehicle number two, or the big fire engine. This fire engine has the new kind of fire hoses. So it has a stud shooter. In this compartment we have some more water studs. Some studs as resemblance as water. We've got the, I don't know what you call these things. I think they're called uh, barriers or tripods or whatever these things are called. We have the ladder. It can go pretty high if, oops. It can go pretty high. So that's that's the tallest length. We've got some more doors on this side. And inside can fit one or maybe two passengers if you squeeze them in. Now let's look at the third vehicle. We have the helicopter and it has another one of those stud shooters for the fire hoses. Has a light on the end and I think these are either fuel or water tanks. But there's some storage back in the back with some water studs. Pretty good overall design. The canopy opens with some control sticks. Front rotor and side rotor. And that goes on the helipad. Now let's look at the minifigures. Let's start with the captain. The captain has a golden helmet and a pretty good torso. He's got a radio on his back and a pretty good, yeah, pretty good torso. Now let's focus on the pilot of the helicopter. So he's got some printing on his on his legs. He's got a few hold it. So he's got some printing on his legs, which are straps. And that's his print on his back. Now let's take off the helmet so you can see his face a little better. Here's a female firefighter. So I'll take a look at her torso. This firefighter's torso is the exact same as the female firefighter's torso. So it's the exact same. This torso is a little more different.
And last but not least, our final character, or final minifigure, the fire dog. Well, that's my review on the LEGO Fire Station. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notification. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.